Righto, so this is the Johnson Viking 4740 40 channel AM SSB transceiver and this is the original box for it here and it's um, in quite good condition um, and this was the 4740-18 but this one is a 40 channel which is kind of nice so let's have a look inside the box and not to disappoint this is a very very nice looking Johnson Viking and uh, a quick flick tells you straight away yep beautiful 40 channel selector in there and uh, this one in the original foam bracket microphone bracket screws etc very nice condition we've got a small transmit fault to sort out on it but um, compared to the uh, other Johnson Vikings I've got this one is extremely clean very very nice um, and it's really a great bonus that it's got its box and foam and etc etc with it so always makes life um, a little bit more easier to be able to pack it away etc so we'll just chuck it on the bench quickly and have a quick look but I expect that yes we'll have a transmit issue so I've just quickly uh, hooked up the Johnson Viking so we've got a, a light out which is no problems uh, the mode switch on these were uh, very synonymous with uh, some of the problems that would come up in them. Uh, sometimes you could just clean them and they came up fairly well. Um, you're listening to a tone coming off the um, uh, IFR at the moment, which is unusual. I normally use my little um, 2040 here that uh, uh, Pete and myself have been talking about lately, but I've got to rearrange this bench. Um, we have some changes to make that um, will be... Um, well, Pete taught me a bit about what I've been missing out on my... Uh, uh, well, more mainly the uh, transmit side, sorry, the receiver side uh, of the 2040 has been, um, which is this unit here, pretty easy. But uh, I've actually got the um, oh, 1040 or 1080, God, anyway, correct me after. Um, and uh, we'll be hooking that up to um, uh, a crow and frequency counter, etc. But it's supposed to happen a couple of nights ago, but didn't quite get to it because I kept playing with other radios. Anyway, so we're receiving a signal on this thing at the moment, which is good. Um, it's way off uh, frequency for it. it should be it should be sort of here and yeah it's it's definitely uh, we'll we'll work that out that's not going to be a hard one yeah there it is right in there now we're actually on 27205 and obviously we're not on 205 there so we'll um, have a bit of a sort out of that um, I don't know we'll see if we've got any transmit power I would say no from what Ed was telling me um, and if you remember on the old Vikings, microphone in the back, one, two, one, two. And as we see up here, absolutely nothing, which is fine. Um, often, um, don't laugh, but sometimes we can just clean these mode selectors and a lot comes back working that wasn't um, even frequency issues like we've got at the moment. But um, we'll um, get this up and running over the next few days and come back to it with a, a bit of a uh, finished product and see how it goes. And this is just one that will go on display and you know look and as you can see look it's it's really tidy you put a, a you know led in there that'll just light up itself from memory that used to light up as well um and um and i'll show you the uh, mode switch now look i haven't tried this mode switch yet but i will put money on the fact what used to happen on these is the little lights used to be your indicator and when your mode switch was getting really dirty this would happen and we'll try it now probably make a liar of me there you go look at that see how i've lost lights there yeah, this was a very common problem. Now, you watch me just crack it into place. There you go. So, trick for new players on Johnson Vikings. Um, you know, a big can of uh, Electrolube. Uh, you know, I've still got some of my Dick Smith Electrolube. And trust me, that can can get you out of a lot of different, you know, issues that seem like they're groundbreaking, just going to take you the rest of your life to sort out issues, but often they're not. Um, this one... Um, I've already noted a couple of things that you know I can see where a couple of problems are coming from so we'll tidy those things up first and then we'll have a bit of a look through but uh, uh, fortunately we did work on these back when I was a younger apprentice and um, um, probably not the set you loved working on but as you got to know them more you started to understand that you know you don't just guess you you know trace your faults through have a bit of a look and find out um, the, uh, I've got a manual for one of these so that's a and look that's a great starting point where whenever you're having a look at a radio um, and Bob 7RX, great mate of mine, you know, had to renew my, my apprenticeship just recently. 
and uh, everything was about, you know, get back to basics. Oscillators, voltages, they're there for a reason. If they're not there, that's the reason, you know, that something's not working. So um, uh, it's been good to uh, spend time with Bob and, and him smacking smack me in the head a few times um, and uh, <laughs> certainly learned a lot from him. Okay, anyway, that's the Johnson Viking 40 channel, which, you know, nothing better than looking at this thing sitting on channel 40. Probably doesn't excite people as much as it excites me. I know, there's some very weird things that excite me, but <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll get this going and we'll, we'll give that a test. We'll, we'll put an on-air test uh, on YouTube at some stage of this one. 73s, thanks very much. VK3, Charlie Mike, uh, Tank Ambalanga, Northeast Victoria. All the best.